Hello, and welcome to an exciting edition of Hidden in the Universal Vault. I'm Ron, your host, and we are finally going to close out with the Despicable Me series as we are taking a look, kind of closing out, but as of now, we are closing out with the third in the series, this one being released in, I had to look at the Blu-ray case, 2016, as we take a look at, obviously, Despicable Me, the, dis, the, Despicable Me 3. Got a little tongue tied there, I don't know why. But yeah, we're finishing out this trilogy. And so far, what did I think of the third? Well, this is my second viewing. This is my second time watching. And I gotta say, the second viewing, I actually like this out of all of them. This is, this is right there, the first one in terms of that. But I'm gonna talk about, let's actually talk about the film. So basically, once again, Steve Carell uh, returns, obviously, as Gru. But he does two roles. He plays his long-lost brother, Drew. D-R-U. Gru was G-R-U. Drew is D-R-U. Kind of weird. So he has a long-lost brother, and it turns out that the head of the a AVL, the Anti-Villain League, is retiring. Now... He is voice. I forgot to mention he's actually voiced by Steve Kudich. This this one of has the usual returning backs. We got like I said, Steve Carell, Kirsten Wiggs, Miranda Cosgrove, Steve Coogan, uh, Dana Gurgra, and Julie Andrews all return back. This series introduces Trey Parker and Jenny Slate in the cast. So those are the two new cast members in this installment and. Basically, now Gru has to fight another supervillain who happens to be an 80s supervillain. Enter Bulbasaur Brat, voiced by Trey Parker, and easily my favorite villain in the entire series. I love Bulbasaur Brat. I actually just picked up the poster. If you watch my movie poster pickups, this was one of them because I wanted the movies that I like. I wanted both the Illumination movies. This one was like, I love Despicable Me 3. I think it's just great. So, basically, I shouldn't get early, but basically now, Balbasol Brat, he was an 80s child actor who, during his teen years, the show got canceled. Now he's a full grown adult. He's like this super villain. Then we see Gru, Lucy, and the three girls. They head off to another, head off to the island to meet up with the long lost brother, Drew. And he plays a key part in this. I actually think Drew is a, is a much better character than Gru. I like Gru, but I thought Drew stole the show. He's just funny. He's also voiced by Steve Carell, so he played dual roles. It's really cool how that is. And Drew is so much fun. He's like the big brother, or the, no, I think the little brother he always wanted to have, but he found out that he had a brother, so he goes to, he goes to his, uh, goes to his mom and says, I have a long, I have a brother I didn't know about, and she gets mad and says, how'd you know about that? And, and then that's that. Then we get this, we get sort of a subplot with the minions as they're, they're everywhere else, they end up in a beach and they meet these two, they meet the two women at the beach. And that's really about them. And the two of them say, and, and the minions like it because they were just mesmerized. And the two, the one, the one woman's like, aren't you just adorable? Like, they're just like children. The minions are like kids. You just gotta like them. So now we get the minions as they head off to sort of I guess it's the Universal Backlot. They call it something else, but it looks like the Universal Studios Backlot. So they head down there and they see a guy delivering pizza. So they're going in and then all of a sudden security's chasing them. Head into, he, they head into the stage and turns out it's an American Idol knockoff sing. 
I gotta talk about the scene because that's literally another scene that stole. So the minions go in there and they sing a song called Lasagna, and it's just they do that weird minion voice. I guess I can kind of try to. They do this that. That, that kind of thing. I'm not going to sing the whole way through. So, the audience, the judges are so mesmerized. <laughs> Security are just chasing them. It's like, there they are. Go, 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 go. And then they like go. And then all of a sudden, the end of the song. And the three minions are like, they're all of them are having fun. The three minions are doing the can can. And then they throw pink toilet paper in the audience. And they're so mesmerized. <laughs> and then they all of a sudden get arrested. So, Drew, Gru and Drew are on the island, obviously, after that. I forgot to mention they tried to rob a place, so they basically land into the island and they think of their next strategy. Then the minions are turned in and they have to spend prison life. But they're like so tough at the inmates get freaked out. So they escape. So that's the gist of it. Eventually, Barbasol Brat. It, it, basically, he's he basically builds this this mecha robot, and then it becomes one giant, not really giant fight, but eventually he comes up with the idea of dance fight. So I'm not gonna give away most of the movie. But I'm sure everybody's seen this. So there's lots of things to talk about. Obviously, it, it's a it's a great fun movie. I think it stands out with like the first film. I think it's just great. And it's just it's just so much fun. I really had a good time with the third despicable me. I think it's just such a hoot. The the action's great. Uh, Kirsten Wiggs, like I said, she's good. I've got to mention that there's also another scene where Margot eventually they go to the cheese fair. So they're spending time at the cheese fair and they're doing this cheese dance tradition. So all of a sudden the, the, the girl, like Lucy's not a great parent. And all of a sudden she she's like telling the girls, okay, you get you get one. Aw. You know what? Have more. It's like, Lucy, you, gotta, you, you cannot do that. You got to be tough. Mom's got to be tough, something like that, and then and then it's like, oh, I'll try, and then she yells at her to not go up to this young man about that, and yeah, that's that, and then the young man comes back, meets up with Margot, then says, no, that's it, we're just friends. His mother comes and tells tells her that, and then all of a sudden Lucy comes out and tells, basically. She basically tells the mother how the bear shad in the woods, that kind of thing. And Margo gives Lucy a hug. So that's really what the movie's about. I don't really want to go into much, but it, it's definitely a lot of fun. The CG is great. The characters are awesome. So much fun. The, the reason why this saw on the list is Trey Parker's performance as Bob Basal Pratt. If you're a fan of South Park, this character is essentially like, this character is essentially Randy Marsh, or when he's a kid he sounds like Stan Marsh. He's essentially, take the Randy Marsh character if he was in a children's movie. That's Barbara Saul Pratt. He's exactly like Randy Marsh. Now I'm sitting there laughing so much. And Trey Parker is like, by far the, the funniest well, Trey Parker's funny in general if you want South Park, but he's so much fun playing that playing that villain. And I just, I had a great time Spick Me 3. I, this is like my second view, and I still think it holds up. The cast is excellent. I forgot to mention that um, I, Ag, Agnes goes to, they go to the forest or something, and they see, they see what apparently is a unicorn, and then... Gru tells her the truth, but yeah, it is so much fun. You start to like these characters, and I think it's totally a ton of fun. Now, in terms of the two Minion movies, I've already covered those movies. If you do want to see my thoughts on Minions and Rise, Rise of Gru, 
I have those reviews up there, so you guys can go ahead and check them out if you want to know about those movies. So I'm finished with the Despicable Me franchise, and I gotta say, between this, I do plan on seeing Despic Despicable Me 4, the fourth movie in the series. I'm not gonna promise anything, but I do plan on going to see that with a buddy of mine. Uh, you probably seen him in my Super Mario Brothers review. That's probably who I'm gonna go see this, so. Might do this as a short, might be a review, no promises. I do want to see it because I want to see it. There's so much negativity on it. I just, not only negativity, but there's been not very good reviews of it. A lot of people say it's just bad. I want to go see it to judge for myself. I like this movie and I want to see if this is going to be good or bad. But till then, you're just going to have to tune into the channel for that. So, with that out of the way, what do I get Spickle Me for? I'm going to give it an automatic 5 out of 5. It's because of Trey Parker's performance that made me bump it up. Had Trey Parker not been in this movie, it'd probably been lower. But with his performance as Bob Basal Brat, he's just so much, he's just a ton of fun. And the movie is just fun in its own, own way. I think, like I said, it's good. I like the idea. I like how it homages to 1980s. They play 80 songs during the dance fight. The characters are so good. I would say this movie's worth it. If you are a South Park fan or even you like Trey Parker, this is worth seeing. Just for his performance alone. Had any other actor portrayed the role, I don't think it would work. And yeah, it's just a ton of fun. So yeah, that's my view. It's that's my view of Despicable Me 4. Not 4, I'm sorry. 3. My, my bad. Ignore 4. 3. That's my review of Despicable Me 3. I hope I got that right. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you do like the content in the channel, I have plenty of other reviews that you guys can go ahead and check out. And yeah, lots of good comment. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Click the subscribe, ring the bell, click the bell, ring the bell. Get all the notifications of what reviews I put up there. I'm on Letterboxd, guys, so you guys can check me out on Letterboxd. And, yeah, and check the movie out. Trey Parker's performance, awesome stuff. So, yeah, and as always, keep watching those Universal movies, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.